is Al Welch once again for this game. Welcome back, Al. Thanks, Dave. Geez, we had a quick one there, didn't we? Definitely the Rams coming off very quickly, getting that first goal within the first few seconds of this game. So the play just getting underway, and it's one to nothing in favor of the Rams, and here they come right back again. Rams going in, shoots, scores again. Oh, Two to nothing as number 16, Warren Buck of the Rams, getting quick goal, goals in there for the Rams, and they're having a hard time getting started. This could be a simple fact that the Barracudas were a little late getting out on the ice here <laughs> as they had to switch sweaters, yeah, and because yeah. both teams having red sweaters, they had to switch and get both teams out here in time for the opening face-off. Puck has dropped. Barracuda shoot it up. It's off the red, the red line by the Rams. Rams coming back with it. They, they get stopped right at the red line. It's flipped up to Buck. And here he comes again. Warren Buck with that puck skating right in. Nobody in between him and the goaltender shoots. This time the goaltender falling on it. Let's see and there. Warren Buck just making a collision with that post as he went by. It looks like Warren could inflict some serious damage here today. He seems to have it pretty well his own way right now. Okay, the face-off is going to be directly down in front of our booth here. Puck has dropped. Warren Buck brings it right across. He's broke up this time. Puck's laying loose there. Quick shot taken there by Greg Kennedy. Puck is still laying loose. Goes around and behind the net. Goaltender trying to pick up a stick. Finally, he gets that. Puck comes out this side. And the Barracuda is trying to move it up. That's number 15, P.J. Steele. He gets knocked out. Puck is laying loose along the boards. Warren Buck with it again. He skates it across the middle. He collides with a player and a puck shot out into center ice. Going back for it is number 15, David Braniff. He picks up the puck. He loses it. Has to go back for it once again. David gets a puck there. He moves it up. That's Warren Buck with it again. Warren Buck going right down in again. He's got a man with him. He sidesteps it. Loses the puck. Comes over to this side. Warren's standing to look for a man. He tries to center it out front. That hits a stick. Warren picks it up again. He's going right in, shoots, and that's just wide, and that goes off over the far side and all the way back to the blue line. Barracuda is number 10, David Stover. He still hasn't moved off that center red line, and trying to get up onto his skates. Player's going to skate by him now. Rams with that puck. Got one of the Rams laying down here in front, in front of the net, looking up at us, too. Shoots, oh, scores. Dude. Warren Buck again. That's three goals in this first shift. The Barracuda goaltender seems to be kicking, keeping his uh, his stick up with, off the ice just a touch, and it's just annoying, allowing enough room for that puck to slide in between his legs. Definitely he's having a problem as he's trying to stand up straight, and there we see young number 10 of the Barracudas, David Stover, still having problems getting <laughs> up to his skates. I don't think he's moved from there, has he, since we started? This is a fun thing of the Spartans <laughs> baby line is all these kids get a chance to get out here for the first time on skates and still play hockey. Quick shot there, that comes out to this side. It's picked up by Warren Buck. There's the buzzer. And both teams gonna change and we see Stover finally got up. He's right at the gate and yeah, he's, he's gonna uh, finally make it off the ice. He's got an advantage there. He's the first one off the ice. I think that's number 20, Dave. Number 20. Oh, mm -hmm. that's Nicholas Reed's in. That's a fun thing. The biggest thing that kid is if the puck even rolls near him so he can get a little swipe at it. <laughs> yeah, that was number 28, because as we can see, number 10, David Stover is taking the face off this time for the Barracudas. Rams will get the puck. They've got it along the boards. That's tried to center out front. It's picked up by number 13, Scott Hay. He moves it up to the blue line and stopped right there. It's picked up by David Strong. Being shot in, goalie makes that save, puck laying loose, and quickly the goaltender falling on that as standing right there to knock it in was Paul Saxton. I'll tell you, Dave, that's unusual. We have the same goaltender in net for the, uh, uh, for the Barracudas uh, on the big line as we did uh, for the babies. Uh, Tim Warner, the coach of the Barracudas, must be short a goaltender today, I think. De definitely, that's Ramsey Ida in net there for the Barracudas. Puck comes out to center ice there and Barracudas almost getting a break there but couldn't quite hang on to the puck. Rams bring it back. They got a man right out front. But Stover breaking it up. He gets it in behind the net. David Stover with it. 
He still has it, comes out this side. He's looking for his men. Still with it. He finally is poke checked. That comes back to the corner. David Stover now skating up. He flips it towards the blue line. That stopped there at the blue line, and the, red, the Rams put it out, and it's shot right back in offside. And this way, the faceoff is going to come outside the blue line, just off the right-hand side. Almost have a tendency to call the Rams the Red Wings, as the Red we Wings, did just actually. finish that last game with That's the Red right. Wings. That's right. They're a nice sweater they have, though, aren't they? They got the Definitely. Ram right on the front there. and Real nice printing job. Yeah. Two players collide. Third one comes in. Down goes number eight, Daryl Strong. Puck is centered out front. It's shot back to the blue line. Comes out over the blue line. Rams with it again. They're waiting. They couldn't quite wait long enough, and the puck comes right back in. Rams shoot it down into the corner. That's uh, knocked off by Paul Saxon. Quick shot. That goes off the glove of the goaltender off into the corner. Comes back to the point. Defense with it. They're going to Flip it down into the corner. That's stopped by the Barracudas. They shoot it out. Number five, Robbie Duchette going after it. Robbie couldn't hang on to it. And it's shot in by number 12, Brad Cull. Rands pick it up. They center right out in front of their own net. That's picked up by number eight, Daryl Strong. He circles it around, puts it back towards the point. Brandon Ireland couldn't hang on to it. Puck is tied up in the slot area. Shot in, quick shot there by David Stover. Shoot, oh, score. There, there we go. David Stover getting the first goal for the Barracudas. Good heads up play too. He uh, just waited that little bit, waited for that puck to come loose and just let her go. Definitely, it's really nice to see players play positional hockey yeah. where they're open when that puck yeah. comes to them. That's right. Puck comes back to the Barracudas blue line. It's being skated up by Scott Hay. Scott Hay on the boards, he's checked. Shot down in though. Puck's going around by back to number nine, Bernie Hollingshead. He puts it over the far side. That comes out into the center ice area. Player runs into the referee. Puck a shot back in. Rams right there for it though, and it's picked up by David Stover again. David Stover trying to get down in. He's got two players on him. There's the buzzer. And both teams once again are gonna make a line change. And we're gonna have a second line coming out for each of these teams. A little, bit, a little better shift there for the Barracudas. They get on the scoreboard and they're right back in the hockey game. Definitely score three to one in favor of the Rams, but the Barracudas starting to apply a lot of pressure down there as they've had time now to get ready for this game. Rams controlling the face off. They bring it up over the blue line. He's upset, no penalty on the play. Barracudas get the puck at center ice area. It's being skated up by Scott Hay. Scott Hay gets it down in. Going after it is number 12, Brad Cull. He can't get to it. And the Rams shoot it over the far side. Brad finally picks up the puck. He can't move it anywhere, though. But gets through. Goaltender pokes it off into the corner. Brad Cull with it again. And the Rams shoot it up along the boards. That's coming back towards the point. Scott Hay with it. He shoots it in. Brad Cull picks it up. That goes her off to the side. Now Rams once again move it over the boards, get it back towards the blue line. Puck is being batted around and finally comes up over the blue line. Rams overskate the puck. Finally they get it. They shoot it down in. This is going to go for icing. Whistle goes and faceoff's going to go all the way back down inside the Rams and just off to the left hand side of the goaltender Morley Arnold. Other than we, uh, the Rams look uh, just a bit stronger on the baby line. These teams look like they're fairly well matched. Definitely a lot of play at that center ice area. Yeah. Not yeah. really being advanced on either way. Rams coming right back with a puck. They get it up over the blue line. But he's the only player out so far, but he gets it over the blue line. Still being rode off. Scott Hay in there doing his job, taking him right down in the corner, knocking him down. And Puck is laying loose, comes right out to Scott Hay. Shot back towards the blue line by Brad Call. Defense going to keep that one in. Long shot there. That's tip. Goes off into the corner. It's going to be picked up over in the corner by Greg Kennedy. 
Greg tries to center it out front, that's stopped. Another quick shot, that's blocked by Scott Hay. Scott Hay with it, he takes it up towards the blue line. He crosses the blue line, he's got Brad Call with him. Scott Hay skating down in, he's got one player to beat. Oh, oh. the player and him both collide, shot on net, and the goaltender hangs on to it. Well, everybody's getting up after that one. That was quite a collision. Definitely, Scott Hayes skating in there all alone. Had one player and he didn't even see that player coming across at him. I believe that was number 12, Chris Hay Haycock that stopped Scott Hay as he went in. Scott Hay comes back with it once again. Look for his man, flips it off the boards to the blue line. That's stopped by the defense, sent right back out to center ice area. Rams trying to move it up to the blue line. Picked up by Brad Call, he overskates the puck. And it's Rams coming right back in. Scott Hay in there, Scott rides him off. He has to go around behind the net. He's rode off there by number 19, Derek Anus. Puck is laying right behind the net. It's picked up by number seven, Stephen Jukes. He gives it to Scott Hay, Scott Hay with it. Scott gets it up to Brad Call, he can't hang on to it. And it's out just up over the blue line. Ram shoot it in, it's call, going to be called on the offside though. As number seven, Cam Butt, was up over that blue line ahead of the puck. Once again, we got the baby line coming out here. Looks like young Michael Reed's number 20 this time. He skated about six feet away from those boards before he went down. That's right. <laughs> Buck is along the boards. It's picked up here once again by Warren Buck. Warren Buck, the threat of the Rams. He gives the puck off. Puck's underneath players. Buck is just laying there, shot back to the blue line. Picking it up is number 18, Derek Kramer. He moves it up. He's stopped by Warren Buck. Warren Buck with the puck. He gets it up over the blue line. It comes to number 15, David Braniff. David Braniff with it. He's being poke checked. Buck still laying there, though. Nobody really gaining any advantage. Finally, David gets it loose. It's given off to Warren Buck. Warren Buck picks it up. He's going to skate it up over the blue line, taking it down in. Long shot there. Goaltender pokes that off. Another shot. Shoot scores. Number six, Greg Kennedy getting that goal as he picked up the puck from the shot of Warren Buck. So the Rams really starting to pull ahead here. Barracuda's having a little problem with controlling that play in their own end. And we see the score, four to one in favor of the Rams. Rams Warren Buck coming right back again. He gets the puck, comes off over to the corner here. In there to check on his number 14, Brandon Claus. He goes down, puck comes loose. It's picked up by number three, Tobin Ireland. That goes off in behind the net and it's picked up by Warren Buck. Warren Buck with the puck, skates it out over the far side, tries to center it out front. That comes right out front. Two players there with it. Nobody can get a hold of the puck though and players go down. Puck is still laying underneath the player's skates. Finally, the Barracudas pick it up. They're stopped right there at the slot area. Warren Buck gets it. He loses it and it's picked up once again by Ireland. Ireland shoots it up. And a stop. It's picked up by Claus. Claus with it. That's number 14, Brandon Claus going down. He's skating up the center ice area. He stopped. And the Rams control the play one more time. Rams are stopped right at the blue line. Going down is P.J. Steele. He controls the puck right at the blue line. And we got four players down there digging for it. And finally comes loose and picked up by Tobin Ireland. He gives it up to Brandon Claus. Brandon Claus in on a breakaway. Going right down the center ice. Got a player checking him. Shoots, scores. Brandon Claus gets the second goal for the Barracudas. Making the score four to two in favor of the Rams. Well, Al Welsh had to leave me, and joining me now is Joji Ingerman. Joji, welcome to our broadcast. Hi, Dave. Uh, what we've got now is 4-2 to two for the Rams. The Rams are a, an excellent team. I can see that uh, 
uh, the other team. Uh, who, who's the team they're playing today, the Blackhawks? Uh, Barracudas. The Barracudas, okay, Barracudas. Well, that's four to two, it's pretty good for the Barracudas against this team. Okay, Brandon Claus, he's gonna pick up that puck again. He crossed the center line, this time he's got Warren Buck in front of him, Warren's gonna ride him off. Brandon takes a check and picks up the puck again, going in, shoots, oh, nice save. What's nice save. This Rams baby line is one of the best in the league. Warren Buck uh, scores many of the goals for this line. Definitely, he scored the first three goals of the game. At that time, Brandon Claus going in, Warren Buck tried to ride him off, but Warren ended up going down, and Brandon hung onto that puck and went in and got the shot away. So now we have the first line coming out for these teams. One last player to hustle off the ice. That's what the referee's waiting for. Okay, now we're all set to go. Face off taken, David Stover brings it back. Quick flip pass up to the blue line, that goes out in center ice there, and uh, Barracudas have to come back and set up. Player over skates, so that's Scott Hay, over skated the puck, long shot there, goaltender hits, kicks that out. Second shot, puck is finally picked up by Scott Hay. Scott Hay takes it up along the far boards, he's skating at the blue line, he's rode off. Brad Call can't quite get to him, shot in. Shot right back up to David Stover. David Stover has got the puck. He tries to circle it out front. Can't get it out there. Goes off into the corner where it's being picked up by Robbie Duchette. Robbie Duchette can't hang on to it. Rams come back with it. They get it up over the blue line. That shot back in offside. Rams get it up to the blue line and out though. It's flipped up to number eight, Daryl Strong. Daryl Strong with it. He goes over to the far side looking for his man. Coming right down and he takes a backhand shot. Nice save there as the goaltender got it. Puck laying loose, shoots, scores. Daryl Strong picking up that rebound as goaltender Ramsey Idea thought he had that puck, but laying loose there and Daryl Strong just put it in past him. Good second effort by Daryl Strong. It's nice to see these players skating in quickly after their shot and trying to recover the rebound. And many times it works for these kids. A lot of times they take the shot and stop and watch to see what happens. It's a critical error. Definitely, and it's a good thing for the coaches, showing their dedication as teaching these boys what to be doing out here. Okay, play back underway. It's down inside the Rams' blue line. They flip it over to this side. They get it up over the center ice area, up to the blue line. Picked up there by David Stover. David Stover just shoots it back to center ice. He stopped. Rams back with it. That's backhanded in by number 11. Brandon Ireland, that comes around behind and then is picked up by number six, Mark Wood. He shoots it over the far side to, day, to number 12, Brad Call. That shot down the ice, and that's going to be called on the icing with the faceoff coming all the way back just off to the left-hand side of goaltender Ramsey Ida. I'm watching the Barracudas first line here. They, they could use a little practice on their uh, positioning. They seem to be clumping up on one side and the whole five-man unit seems to be skating to the other side when the puck moves over to the other side. It's going to be deadly if the Rams if the Rams get a man clear on the one side. Rams controlling the faceoff. Long shot just wide in that. Rebound right out. That goes clear across in front of the net. Comes over this side and is picked up by Scott Hay. Scott Hay flips it to the blue line. That's stopped by the defense. Shot right in and on net. This time Ramsey making no mistake, hanging onto that puck and getting a faceoff deep in his own end. Number 10, Paul Saxton, right there on the play, ready for the rebound. Good positioning. David Stover, once again, controlling the faceoff. He's getting the puck up the center ice area. He's got a man going down the far side, tried to get it over to him but it's broke up by number eight, Daryl Strong. Puck tied up at center ice. This time it's gonna be carried down in by number five, Robbie Doucette. That shot, goaltender once again, he falls on it. And we see there, David Stover in there this time, digging it out. There's a buzzer ending that shift. Both lines gonna make a line change, send out the second line. I believe this Rams team has only lost one game yet this year. I think they're in, uh, tied for second place right now. So they're going to be reckoned with uh, by a lot of the other teams during the playoffs. Have a good chance at the championship. 
Once again, it's the Rams coming back with a puck. They get it out over the blue line. It's tied up along the boards. Brad Collin there trying to dig it out for the Barracudas. He does, shoots it down the ice. Going back for it is number 12, Chris Haycock. He loses it, puck shot up into the center ice here. Scott Hay misses the puck and is picked up by number 12, Brad Call. Brad with it, he runs one player off, pushes the second one off, still with the puck. Trying to dig it out from underneath the player, finally it comes loose. Brad Call with it now, skating up to the blue line. Gets it up over the blue line, takes it off towards the corner. He's got nobody out front though, quick shot. And goaltender number one, Morley Arnold, hanging onto that puck, and he's going to have a face off just off to his right hand side. Face off deep in the Rams end. Barracuda's trying to get that face off. They lose it to the Rams. Rams coming right out to center ice with it. Barracuda's breaking up the play. That's Scott Hay. He just flips the puck up. Number 19, Derek Annis can't hang on to it. That goes off into the corner. Once again, he gives it away right out front. Man stepping across, shoots, scores just between the legs of goaltender Ramsey Ida. Number seven, Stephen Juke scoring that goal as he came across in front of the net and backhanded the puck right between the legs of the Barracuda's goaltender. That's a typical error you see happen with many of the goaltenders in this league. They try to make the move before the player does, and they get caught at a position. Their stick's not in the right position for the save. Rams controlling that play. They bring it up along the center ice area. Once again, they're coming in. Three on one. Quick shot this time. Ramsey kicks it off. Pat loses a stick, though. It comes off to the corner. It's picked up by number 16. He centers it right out front. Quick shot there. You see Warren Buck out here on this line. It's picked up by number six, Greg Kennedy. That's tied up along the boards. Coming out this side, Scott Hay in there for it. Scott Hay picks it up. He's going to skate it up towards the blue line. He's rode off along the boards. We're going to have a penalty going here. And it's going to go to number 16, Warren Buck. Well, it certainly was a dubious call. I thought it was a nice, clean check. Especially, that's a baby line player. Definitely, I uh, see the referee didn't give any signal, so we don't know just exactly what he called it for. Charging penalty. Well, so the Barracuda's having a chance here to get back into this game with a quick goal here. It's Brad Cull with it. He's skating it down over the blue line. He's rode off along the boards. He picks up the puck again. But as we see, the Barracudas have nobody out in front of that net that he can give it to. Brad's still trying to carry the puck down in. He tries to backhand it and finally comes loose along the boards. Rams trying to move it up. Player goes down. Brad with the puck. He's just trying to push the guy off with one hand and carry the puck with the other. Puck is tied up along the boards. They get it out in the center ice area. Scott Hay with it, waiting for his men to get on side, standing and waiting. And there's the buzzer ending that line chain, so we're gonna have both teams changing their line, sending out the baby line. Seen out there, Brad Call, number 12 of the Barracudas, trying to push a player off one hand and carry the puck with the other, and uh, you just can't do that in hockey as you have no control with your stick. That's right, Dave. I just indicated there's 3.54 left in this period the last shift before they change ends to start the second period. Rams controlling the play at center ice right now. They're skating it up. An interesting Warren shot. Buck with it, coming down in. Warren Buck takes a long shot, goaltender stops that. He's got it underneath his legs. And almost making a mistake by throwing it right out front, but gets the whistle and we're gonna face off off to the left-hand side of the net. Puck is dropped, goes around and behind the net. Number 14, Brandon Claus with it, shoots it up around. That's going to go out to center ice area. Brandon Claus in there again for it, shoots it up along the boards. He's got it going down. He's skating up to the blue line. He's got Warren Buck back there. Warren makes a nice turn to skate backwards. Brandon pulls the puck back, goes through the legs. 
but couldn't hang on to it. Warren Buck picks it up along the boards. He moves it up. That stopped right at the face-off circle. Two players going in along the boards for it. It's shot back towards the blue line. Comes out of the blue line where it's picked up by Warren Buck. It's a two-man breakaway. Warren Buck going right in. Going in, sidestep, shoots, scores. Warren Buck scoring his fourth goal of the game. It was a smart shot by Warren. He took that look just before he let go and made the little deek to the right side and put it in on, on the long side. There we see young number 20, Nicholas Reeds, still learning how to skate and having a hard time to get up to his feet. But still really enjoying to be out here in this hockey game. Brandon Claus with the puck once again. He's skating up along the boards, gets it up over the blue line as he's knocked down. Puck is being brought back by Warren Buck again. Warren Buck with the puck, he's skating down. Skating right in. It's all alone, goaltender kicks that off over in the corner. Warren Buck was back out there for it. He's got it on the boards and he's stopped by Brandon Claus. Brandon Claus with it on the boards, he stopped. Warren Buck picks it up, he's coming right out front, takes a shot, shoots, scores! Once again, we see Ramsey Ida having problems with the stick. He can't keep that down on the ice and the puck just going between the stick and going off his pads and into the net. Warren likes to play a lot by himself out there. He might have made the pass off to player number six front of the goal, he's had, he's, might have some trouble with some teams that center on him alone in, in this game. He tends to try to do it himself. Barracuda shoot the puck down in. Rams having to go back for it. It's number 15, David Braniff with it. He's knocked off the puck. Puck comes right out front. Barracudas get the backhand away. That's Brandon Claus again, but the goaltender Morley Arnold hanging on to that and freezing it up and getting a face off deep in the Rams end. Puck has dropped, comes right back out front. Goaltender pokes that off. It's down into the corner. Brandon Claus in there for it. He turns it around, centers it right out front, but once again, nobody out in front of that net. Puck goes off to the far side. Warren Buck going in there for it. He picks it up. He centers it right through the middle, comes right up to number six, Greg Kennedy. And there's the buzzer ending the first period of play. And both teams gonna make a line change with the score in favor of the Rams, eight to two. That was a nice centering pass by Warren Buck more time in that period. Boy, he received it, might have been able to go down on a break. It's good that he's taking a look at some of his players now. See the one little fellow still having trouble getting off. Definitely, Senior. that's Nicholas Reed. Nicholas. Well, someday we'll probably be seeing Nicholas skating around on the first line just as fast as any of these kids. Definitely, and that's what we said earlier, that his biggest thrill would be, even if that puck came close enough that he could just hit it once. <laughs> Play back underway, it's John Nato going up with a puck. He gets it just up over the blue line and stop. Barracuda's trying to bring it back, they lose it. Shot up along the boards by Burning Holly's head. That's stopped by the Barracudas. They've got it along the boards at center ice. Puck comes loose, shot up by the Rams. It's picked up inside the line by Paul Saxton. Paul loses it, gives it off to Daryl Strong. Daryl Strong takes a shot. That hits the goaltender and he hangs on to it. And we're gonna have another face off deep inside the Barracuda's blue line. There we see young Ramsey Ida having a little bit of problem getting up to his feet. Finally he gets there, he's all set for the face off. Face off's taken, two players pushing along the boards. Puck comes right out front, quick shot. Oh, that's just wide of the neck. Oh, it goes in behind, it's picked up by Scott Hay. He flips it up along the boards. Puck comes over to Daryl Strong. He flips it clear across over to the other side. Put back to the point to John Nato. John Nato just flips it in. He stopped. Puck comes out to center ice area. Joey Sackle, he shoots it down in. That goes around behind the net and out the far side. Player tries to ride him off. Picked up by number 17, Shane Fitch. That shot up the blue line is kept in by Brad Cull. Brad's knocked down, puck comes loose out front, shot out to center ice area, Scott Hayes there to pick it up. 
Scott Hay with the puck. He flips it up towards the blue line. It's picked up there by Robbie Doucette. He shoots it in. That's why the net comes off into the corner. David Dover in there for it. He's rode off, hit hard into the boards. And it's picked up by John Nadel. He flips it up to the blue line. David Stover there for it. He can't hang on to it. Comes off into the corner. It's picked up by Doucette. Doucette tries to put it out front. And we're going to have a two-minute penalty going for interference to number 77, John Nade, or correction, that's number eight, Daryl Strong. I saw Daryl throw his weight around a couple of times there. I was surprised that they didn't call it earlier, especially after giving that, what I would have considered a, a clean check, giving that penalty to Warren Buck. Obviously, they finally found a reason to give him a penalty. Daryl Strong playing pretty aggressive hockey. Puck comes right out front. Long shot there. Goaltender pokes that off into the corner. That shot up to the blue line by Sh Shane Fitch. That goes off to number 10, Paul Saxon. He's stopped by Scott Hayes. Scott Hay picks up the puck. He skates it up over the blue line. Two players fly right of the line. It's picked up by number 12, Brad Call. He loses it, comes off to the boards. Shot up by Paul Saxon. He stopped. Quick shot there. Goaltender pokes that off to the corner. Centered right out front. is picked up by Robbie Doucette. He loses the puck. Scott Hay puts it up to the blue line. Picked up by number five, Doucette. He crosses the blue line, looks for the man, flips it over. Not far enough, though. And Paul Saxon picks it up. Paul puts it over to the far side. David Stover puts it up inside the blue line. It's picked up along the boards by Joey Sack. Or correction, that's number six, Mark Wood. Mark Wood goes in. He takes a shot. And goaltender Morley Arnold hanging on to that puck, forcing a face off deep inside the line. I see we've got the Barracudas, number 10, David Stover, going to the penalty box. He's going to get a two-minute minor for interference. I didn't see the call, but I was watching the goalie, number one for the Rams, Morley Arnold, came out and challenged the shooter, did a good job of cutting down the angles. Face off deep inside the line when it should have been outside with that penalty. Doucette with a puck. That shot down into the corner. Rams in there for it. It's picked up by John Arnold as the buzzer goes, so both team's going to make a line change, sending out their second line. The face-off's going to be deep inside the Rams' blue line. I suspect you've had some roughing experience, Dave. Oh, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> a few years of it. That's right, yes. Well, I guess you know the rules as well as anybody. I remember getting my first start right here in the Spartan That's hockey. right, I remember when you were reffing. Face-off's taken, Scott Hay controlling the play. He backhands it in on net. That's stopped by the defense, flipped off into the corner. It'd be picked up by number 11, Brandon Ireland. That's picked up, coming right in. Shoots, oh, just wide of the net. Brad Call having a great opportunity there, but missing the net. Puck shot out in the center ice by Josh Braun. That stopped there, was over the far side. That's picked up and carried up along the boards. Going right down in, Rams having an opportunity to get in on that, but that puck goes around in behind that, comes out the far side, where it'd be picked up by Scott Hay. Puck being skated right down the ice. Coming right in is Brad Call, Brad Call, or correction, Scott Hay, shoots, oh, that goes out the goalie, comes over this side, centered right out front, shoots, scores! Beautiful effort by Scott Hay, nice skate, good shot, an excellent save by Morley. Good teamwork by both Scott Hay and Brad Call as they came down that ice with that puck. And Scott Hay making a great chance, getting the shot, going wide and hustling right after it, getting it right back out front. And the player was right there in position to, to receive the pass and put it in. Once again, it's Scott Hay controlling the play. He just flips it down into the Rams' end. Rams having to come back for it. They get along the boards. That's number five, Josh Brown in there for it. They're tying it up. Puck finally comes loose, Josh with it, he's got it, flips it nicely through the legs of Brad Call, but he's stopped at the blue line. Brad Call picks it up, he's circling around, backhands it, that's why the net comes over the corner, Scott Hay down in for it. Scott Hay with it, he's tied up along the boards. Number five, Josh Brown puts it around behind that, out to the far side to Chris England. Chris flips it up along the boards, that goes out in the center ice area, and uh, Barracudas have to go back and set it up. Puck is picked up, shot back out in the center ice area, comes to the center line. Just a little too far for Steven Jukes. And the Rams going right back down in. Player runs into the referee. Puck's tied up along the boards. Rams number 11, Brad, Brad, Baden, 
Ireland shoots it down in. That's tied up along the boards. Joey Sackle moves it up. Comes back to the blue line. Shot right back in. Players knocked down. That's number two, Chris England. That's off into the corner. And it's tied up. Backhanded around behind uh, Barracuda's net where it'll be picked up by number 11, Baden Ireland. He's knocked down. Nobody really getting the puck out front yet. Finally it comes loose. And it's uh, Barracuda's coming up over the blue line. Flip it through the middle. Brad, Brad Call with it. Brad has a stick check. That's a nice play by Chris England as he checked Brad's stick and wouldn't let him get his putt, stick on the puck. Puck has shot down into the corners, picked up there by Ireland. Ireland with it. Shoots it out to the blue line in the center ice area and going back for it is number 13, Scott Hay. Scott Hay with it. He loses it. Here comes a great opportunity for the Rams, but he gets the puck tied up in his skate, still going in. Takes a long shot. That comes right out front. Another shot taken by Ireland. That's around and behind the net. Barracuda's put it back to the blue line. That comes to uh, number two, Chris England. He shoots it right back in. That's right out front. Players laying there, and there's the buzzer. Rams applying a lot of pressure. That shift down in the Barracuda's end, but Barracuda's holding off the pressure. If you notice, the Rams, their positioning is very good. Obviously, Chris Spires has talked to them about where to stand various instances during the game, and uh, they're wide open in many cases for the shot. Score eight to three favor the Rams. Rams having their most productive line out right now in their baby line and Warren Buck. Buck comes loose, Rams pick it up. Their poke check coming in. Barracuda's right in on that, quick shot. Oh, a nice skate save as the goalie got a skate down. Stop at number 14, Brandon Claus right in front of that net. Buck is skated out by Ireland. That shot right back down in. Rams back here to pick it up. It's picked up by number 15, David Braniff. He stopped right along the boards by Brandon Claus. Ireland with it now, trying to move it out. Players falling down along the boards, tying up the puck, finally comes loose. Shot back down in by P.J. Steele. That comes around in along the boards, and Warren Buck picks it up. Warren flicks it up through the middle. That's stopped by Brandon Claus. He takes it back, and that's right on net. Goaltender falls on that, freezes it up as Andrew Lee didn't want to take any chance and hung on to that puck, forcing the face off deep in his own end. There we see Nicholas Reed still trying to get up to his feet there, having a lot of fun out here on the ice. Warren Buck stopped right at the blue line, puck shot across the middle, picked up there by Greg Kennedy. Greg Kennedy can't move it. He gets it back, gives it over to Warren Buck. Warren Buck going down in. He loses the puck and a shot back to the blue line. It's picked up there by David Braniff. He tries to shoot it down in. Picks it up again, still with the puck along the boards. He shoots it down in on net. That's tipped off by Ramsey. That goes off behind the net where it's picked up by the Barracudas. Barracudas try to shoot it up along the boards. Comes back towards the blue line. It's stopped by Warren Buck. Warren Buck circles out the other way. Player slides into him, takes him out. And it's Brandon Claus with it. Brandon Claus going up against Warren Buck. Warren Buck right there. He stops him. Just taps the puck back and is picked up by number six, Greg Kennedy. Greg Kennedy with it, crossing the blue line. He's poked, check puck off, goes off to the boards. Greg picks it up again. He skates it down into the corner, passes it right out front. That hits the goalie, goes off behind the net. Pucks over to the far side. Ram still with it. It comes out to Ireland. Ireland can't hang on to it. Puck goes across over the boards. It's picked up there by David Braniff. David Braniff tries to shoot it out front right on net. All laying right loose on the corner. Shoot scores. Ram's all over the goalie. It's a case of having four Ram players in there on one goalie and one player, and sooner or later that puck's got to be poked in. Well, they're skating, and they're moving the puck around very well for a small line. Looking for their players, taking advantage of the open position. Face-offs taken. Barracudas break it up. They shoot it out to center ice area. Great Kennedy with now skating it up to the blue line. He flips it down in. Players tied up. 
Right at the faceoff circle, Warren Buck with it. Warren Buck going in, he shoots and scores. You can't leave that boy standing by himself in front of the net. He's gonna score on you every time. And there's the buzzer, so both teams now gonna send out their first line. As we see Warren Buck and David Braniff going off, who paired together to get that goal. This Barracuda's team has actually improved quite a bit since I first saw them this year. They are playing one of the best teams in the league, and in all essences, they're holding their own in both the first and second lines. The baby line, I think, that's dominating. Okay, play back underway. David Stover with the puck. He crosses up over the blue line, takes off to the side, takes a long shot. Oh, that just hits the pad, comes out to this side. It's picked up on this side by Bernie Hollingshead. He loses the puck, comes off into the corner. That's picked up by John Nato. John Nato flips it right up through the middle. Quick shot there, taken by number six, Mark Wood. That goes off into the corner and put back to the point where it's kept in by Brad Cull. Brad centers it right out front. Nobody out there to put it in, though. It comes over this side. Robbie Doucette in there first. He waits for the players to come in. Players fighting right along the boards. Robbie's still trying to poke it loose. Robbie tries to center it out front. It goes to Wood. Wood couldn't hang on to Stover. Almost gets the puck out front. It shot back to the point where it's kept in by Hay. That goes to Stover. Stover right out front. Doucette with it. He can't get it in past the goaltender. And the whistle goes. And we're going to face off just off to the left-hand side of goaltender Morley Arnold. Barracuda's applying some good pressure in this, this shift. Might come up with a goal. Puck comes back to Scott Hayes. Scott Hayes just slips it down in. John Nadel picks it up. Nadel loses the puck. He picks it up again. And it goes right to Doucette. Doucette gets a shot. That's blocked by the defense. They get it out to center ice. And it's David Stover with it. David Stover just backhands it to Cull. He loses it. Goes back up. Shot right down in. This here's going to go down the ice and will be called for icing. So the faceoff will go all the way down inside the Barracuda's blue line. Nice thing about the four minute shift is when the puck does go for icing, you see the players really hustle down for the faceoff instead of taking the time. Yes, they know they have only a certain amount of time out there and they want to play hockey. Puck comes back. Player falls down, that's number 17, Shane Fitch had problems with that puck and a shot out to center ice area. John Nato over for it, he backhands it up to center. That's picked up by Doucette, Doucette with it. He takes a long shot, goes to Nato. John Nato flips it up along the boards, comes back to the blue line, David Stover keeps it in. Shot back to the blue line again, it's brought in offside this time. Rams trying to backhand it out, but it's gonna be called on the icing as Scott Hay touched that puck inside the blue line, the faceoff's gonna go just outside the Rams' blue line. Rams put the faceoff back, Scott Hay with it, he flips it up along the boards, that's stopped by number eight, Daryl Strong. Shot down in, Rams right in there for a quick shot, shoot, scores, number 11, Brandon Ireland. Paul Saxton. Number 10, Paul Saxton, I think, scored that goal. On the left side. Looked like Russ Cortnell out there skating up that ice. Good burst of speed and a good shot. Right along the ice. That gives the Rams another quick goal there. Giving them a big lead here as the Barracudas have a long way to go. David Stover with it, he flips it up along the boards. Nice play as he used the boards as an extra man. He goes into the boards, puck tied up. As he's rode off by number 17, Shane Fitch. Puck a shot back to the blue line, just goes out to stick of Hay. Hay loses it and it's picked up by Daryl Strong. Daryl Strong going in all alone, goes in, shoots, scores. Beautiful shot. Picked his spot and shot the puck right there. That ends that shift, so both line teams making another line change, sending out their second line. Ramsey Ida having a lot of problems down in the neck, keeping his balance. Gave Daryl Strong a lot of room to shoot that puck. But Daryl making no mistake and picked his corner and put it right in. Puck right at center ice here. Rams get control of it. They take it down in. 
Cam Butt in there, taking it down in the corner, tied up along the boards. Backhanded around behind the net. Puck is brought out the far side, stops, goes back as number five, Josh Braun. They lose it, puck is picked up by the Barracudas. Barracudas bring it up, nice play to get a pass a player as number 12, Brandon Cole. Brad Cole going right in, shoots, that's way wide, and that goes out the far side where it'd be picked up by number 11, Baden Ireland. Brad Call with it again, though. He's going in. He's going to get the shot away. That's why the net once again. He picks it up for his own rebound. That shot in behind the net. Scott Hay picks it up. He's being fought for it. Still with it. Goes around behind net. Comes out the other side. Tries to backhand it out front. Gets it out front. It goes underneath the goaltender. And the whistle goes as Morley Arnold had no idea where that puck was. Or correction, I believe that's Lee in net. Now Andrew Lee. Can't see his number. No. Although it is the second line, so it should be Morley Arnold in the net. Plays the same style anyways. Very aggressive. Quick shot there. Morley poking that one out. Puck comes off to the winger. It's carried up by number five, Josh Braun. He shoots it up along the boards, and it's stopped there by Derek Kramer. Or Gamel Kramer. Puck tied up at center ice. Rams having to come back for it. They pick it up, just flip it through the middle. Brad Call right there for it. He can't hang on to it. And it's shot up along the boards by Ireland. That stop. Shot this time a shot all the way down the ice. And that's going to go for icing. And the faceoff's going to come all the way back down inside the Rams blue line. And the right idea, just a little bit too much power. Clear that puck when you're not certain. Get it up, have a forward skate after it. Notice the Rams don't take too many chances with that puck. They're not sure they, they give it off, but they put it up the ice pretty quickly. Go back, Go. Rams with the puck in their own end. They get it back to the blue line. Go. It's stopped there by Brad Tall. Brad Tall with it. He takes the shot. Goaltender tips that off into the corner. Brad Call in there for it. Elon knocks the player down. Puck comes back to the blue line. That's shot right back in by Derek Avis. Brad Call being fought in there along the boards. Players hang on to the stick. We've got a penalty coming here. I believe Brad Call's going to get it, too. Cameron nice save. Butt. I believe that was Cameron Butt skating up with the puck. It's hard to tell sometimes. These sweaters are bunched up on their backs. You can't see the number very well. That's Cameron Butt. Yeah, number seven, Cam Butt. But I believe we're going to have number 12, Brad Call, going to the penalty box as he's called for holding. So there we see Brad going to the penalty box, making it hard on the Barracudas to get any of these goals back. He's a significant player on this line, and it's going to hurt them. Now there's the buzzer to end that line, so we're going to have this baby line coming out one more time. Come on, Barracudas! As Andrew Lee heads down to his net, giving Morley a break. Where the Barracudas, they keep Ramsey and Netta as they must be short one goaltender for this game tonight. I believe he's their uh, top line goalie. I don't think they have a baby line goalie presently. Face-offs taken. Plays right at center ice. It's picked up there by Greg Kennedy. Greg Kennedy flips it up to the line. That's picked up by Warren Buck. Quick shot there. That goes off in behind the net. Skated up along the boards. Barracudas can't get it out. Tied right up along the boards. Almost every player in there digging for it. Referee just letting them try to poke it loose. Finally they get it loose, comes right out in front of the net. Warren Buck over there for it, he picks it up. He's looking for the net, he takes a shot, that's wide of the net. Goaltender puts it in behind the net. Skated out along the far side. Players right there for it. And it's Rams with it. They flip it up. That stopped right there. That's going to be number 14, Brandon Claus coming down. Brandon in all alone. He takes a shot. Nice pad save. That's kicked off over the corner. It's over skated by Greg Kennedy. Finally, he's picked up by Ireland. Once again, players all around. Claus with it. 
That shot out in front of the net, that goes over the far side and it's picked up by David Brana. He gives it off to Warren Buck, Warren Buck skates it up. He flips it over to Greg Kennedy, Greg Kennedy with it at the blue line. He's rode off the puck and his shot over to along the boards. Buck shot up into center ice area. Got a race for it, Brandon Claus along with Warren Buck. Warren Buck, nice sweet check as he poked it off the stick of Claus. Player falls down, he's tying the puck up underneath him, lays on it, and we have a whistle, and we're gonna face off deep inside the Rams' blue line. This is an excellent shift for the Barracuda's baby line. They've had, I think, more chances to score than the Rams' baby line this shift. Warren Buck, of course, getting back and uh, hampering their efforts somewhat. Buck goes clear across in front of the net, it's picked up by Greg Kennedy. He loses Buck, goes off in the corner. Brandon Claus in there for it. He rides Kennedy off. Brandon picks up the puck, centers it clear across for the neck, goes over to the far side. And it's picked up by Warren Buck. Warren Buck with it and all alone. Ramsey Ida trying to get ready, shoots. Nice save as Ramsey kicks that off. Pucks off in behind the net. Warren Buck trying to get it back out front, skates it around behind the net, bring it out the other side. Ramsey falls out onto it and freezes up, stopping Warren Buck from getting another goal. I thought Warren was going to play a Wayne Gretzky move there, around the net and slam it in the side. Goalie Ramsey Ida was aware of what he was going to do and fell right on the puck. Play back underway. Warren Buck with it again, trying to go right out front. He stopped. Buck flipped up along the boards. Brandon Claus picks it up. Warren Buck right there on him again. He tries to ride him off. Warren Buck goes down. Brandon picks up the puck, puts it across the middle a little too far. This time two players take him out. Puck's picked up by number three, Ireland. Ireland skating it up. Going right down. He's got Warren Buck with him. Ireland going in with the puck. He shoots. And another save. Puck laying there. And Warren Buck right there for the rebound. But Ramsey Ida hanging onto that puck, not giving him a chance to get it. Very good shift by both baby line players and Ramsey Ida this time. Both teams make a line, sending out that first line once again. This will as, be the last shift, I believe. As the referee helps off young number 20, Nicholas Reed, who this time actually got three quarters away across that <laughs> ice. So he's made big steps as first of the game, he couldn't even get past the bench, and now he's all the way across the ice. And soon he'll be right across the ice. Maybe up the ice, scoring a goal. Face off deep in the Barracuda's end. Long shot just wide of the net, comes right off to the side. Another backhand there, that goes wide. And puck laying loose out front, players all batting for it. Finally, it goes off into the corner. Puck is tied up along, gets it back to the blue line. That's stopped and shot right back in by Shane Fitch. That's picked up by number nine, Bernie Hollingshead. He gets it off into the corner. David Stover in there, he's rode off the puck. Puck shot along the boards, right at the faceoff circle. Finally, Stover picks it up. David Stover waiting to make his move. Skates by one, coming up on the last defense. Side steps him, gets a shot. That's why the net goes out the far side. And that's tied up along the boards. Shot back to the blue line, kept in. Shot right back up front, Nato shoots it up. That comes over to the far side. It'll be picked up there by number 10, Paul Saxton. He's rode off to play. Players falling all over the ice. Finally, Daryl Strong with it. Daryl Strong crosses the blue line. It's called on the offside. And we're going to face off just outside the Barracuda's blue line. Coach Chris Spires questioning that offside call by the referee. It seemed like the player tried to get back onside. It's hard to tell whether he did from this angle. Oh, great. Wendy. Puck is dropped, Daryl Strong shoots it down in. Scott Hay with it, he tries to backhand it out. Finally, they get it out to center ice area. Long shot taken there by Shane Fitch, he puts it down in once again. Scott Hay in there for it. He breaks up the play. Puck comes back to the blue line, out over the blue line in center ice. Player falls down, he's gonna be getting a penalty player as number 17, or is that 77, John Nadel. Now I believe it's 17. Shane Fitch going to the box. Two minute minor for tripping. 
Very little time left in this game. Barracuda's having a chance to get one more goal here. Puck a shot up by Scott Hay. That's stopped there by, Ar by Strong. Shot down the ice. That's going to go the length of the ice. No icing as they do have a man in the box. Scott Hay around the net with it. Stops. Loses the puck. Comes over the far side. Right out front. Shoots. Score! Once again, a nice shot there as the player took no time to let it go. As soon as it hit a stick, he let that shot go, putting it in past Ramsey Ida. It's number eight, Daryl Strong. Real hero in that goal was number 10, Paul Saxon, riding off Scott Hay and putting it right out to Daryl Strong. Good effort. Buck shot along the boards. John Nadel having a little problem. Finally gets it up to Strong. Strong flips it over to Saxton. Saxon loses the puck, it's back at center ice area. And it's David Stover with it, he loses it. It's picked up by club number 12, Brandon, Brad Cole. And he's knocked down, two players taking little chips at each other. And the faceoff's gonna go outside the black, hot, or correction, of Rams blue line as the countdown starts. And the play is taken right at center ice area. And there's the buzzer ending this game. And both teams now are going to line up at center ice for the traditional handshake. Okay, final score, 13 to 3 in favor of the Rams as they line up for that handshake. Really don't think the the result 13-3 is indicative of the play of this game. I think the Barracudas were thwarted by really good goaltending from the part of Morley Arnold. And uh, baby line goaltender played well, especially in the last shift. There were a couple of good shots on Andrew Lee, but uh, they were certainly the stars of this game along with, with uh, baby line player Warren Buck and uh, a number of other players. First line, Paul Saxton, Daryl Strong. There were some good players on the Barracudas and I think that they Probably should have had a few more goals. Definitely a lot of chances as Scott Hay and Brad Call and Brandon Claus all had some great opportunities for the Barracudas. So that'll end this game. And be sure to tune in next week when we give bring you the fourth game of the five-game series. So with that, this is your host, David Long, along with Joe Jingerman saying so long. And we'll see you back here again next week.